This psalm sings with the ancient echo of God's promise, a covenant whispered through time, calling out to his children, those of us weary, those burdened under the weight of countless troubles, our worries, our fears, our anxieties that cling like shadows. These are the burdens we carry day after day upon our backs, pressing our spirits down into the dust. But in this psalm, God's voice rises like a soft wind, tender and sure. He does not turn from us in our struggle, does not leave us to stumble alone beneath the weight of our pain. No, he reaches out inviting us, with hands open wide, to release what we carry onto him, to let go of these heavy things, to surrender them into the depths of his care. He longs to fill the chambers of our hearts with peace, a peace like a river, wide and still, flowing deep into our souls. He seeks to offer a reassurance that goes beyond words, a quiet certainty that we need not bear our burdens alone. He, the sustainer of all things, asks us to trust, to cast our troubles upon him, for in his arms there is rest, and in his hands, the strength to carry what we cannot. So many of us walk through life, clutching tightly to the burdens we've gathered, holding them close as if by sheer will, we might somehow bend them to our strength. We tell ourselves that if we work harder, push longer, think faster, if we just keep going, keep grinding down, we can shape the chaos of our lives into something manageable, something we can control. But control is an illusion. The harder we grip, the more those burdens grow, the heavier they become, until we find ourselves sinking deeper and deeper into the shadows of anxiety, into the cold grip of depression, into a loneliness so vast it seems to swallow the light. And why? Why this suffocating weight? Because we are imperfect, fragile beings with limits, and yet we strive for what only the limitless God can provide, perfect results. We exhaust ourselves, reaching for something we were never made to carry on our own. The weight of our burdens becomes too great and we are not equipped to hold it, not alone. But in this brokenness, in this moment of release, there is a sacred invitation. God calls us to cast these burdens, every fear, every sorrow, every heavy thing onto him, to let them go. And in return, he promises to sustain us. Not just once, not in a single act of grace, but again and again, with each step, with every breath, he upholds us. To sustain is to do more than carry, it is to lift us above the storm, to place his strength beneath our weariness, his peace within our troubled hearts. It is the constant, unshakable support of a father who never lets go. This is why the psalmist declares, He shall sustain thee, he will not falter, he will not fail. His promise is to carry us, to hold us, not just for a moment, but for as long as we trust him, forever. The verse unfolds like a solemn vow, whispering, He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And that word, never, echoes through the ages with a depth that reaches beyond time. It is more than just a promise. It is a binding, eternal truth. Never, not once, not in any moment, will God allow us to be shaken, to be torn from his care. In this word, we hear the weight of eternity, the unbreakable assurance that our salvation is anchored immovable in Christ. We are held steadfast 
in a love so vast that nothing, not fear, not failure, not even death, can pry us from its grasp. This unshakable security comes not from our own righteousness, not from anything we could ever earn, but from the sacrifice that has already been made. Jesus, upon the cross, bore the crushing weight of sin, the burden too great for any of us to carry. It was cast upon him, the innocent lamb, so that we might never have to bear it. He endured the suffering, the separation, the darkness, all so that we could step into the light, unburdened and free. Through his wounds, through the blood that flowed, we are given life, not just life for today, but life eternal. This is the promise that sings through the verse. Our salvation is not fragile, not something we might lose in the turning of a moment. No, it is bound to the very heart of God, secured through Christ's sacrifice, sealed by his love. This is why we can stand, unshaken, no matter the storm, for we rest not in our strength, but in his. And his word, his promise, his love, it holds us forever. When we come to truly understand, deep in the marrow of our souls, that Jesus has already borne the full weight of our sins, the burdens we carry so tightly, there in that understanding we find a freedom that is vast, boundless. It is the freedom of a soul unchained, a spirit released from the endless toil of trying to fix, to manage, to mend the broken pieces of our imperfect lives. The struggles we face, the deep, aching anxiety, the shadows of depression, the hollow loneliness, are often born from our own hands, from our attempts to control what was never ours to control. We wrestle with the weight of it all, forgetting that the battle has already been won. We try to hold together a world that only God can sustain, and in that struggle we break. But when we turn our eyes to the cross, to the finished work of Christ, we see that our burdens were already laid there, nailed through his hands and feet, lifted from us long before we even knew we carried them. When we believe in this truth, when we let it take root deep in our hearts, there is a release, a profound peace that washes over the weary places. In the eyes of God, we are made perfect, not because of what we have done, not through our striving or our desperate attempts to fix ourselves, but because of Jesus. Through his sacrifice, through his suffering, we are made whole. Our perfection is not something we must earn, not a prize for the righteous, but a gift freely given, sealed in the blood of Christ. And so, we can rest. We can lay down the heavy things we have carried for so long. We can release our burdens, knowing that we are already complete, already secure, held firmly in the hands of the one who has loved us from the beginning. It is here, in this truth, that we find true peace. It is here that we are free. Take a moment, still your heart, and reflect on the burdens you've been carrying, those unseen weights that press upon your spirit, day after day. Are you trying to shoulder them alone, holding tight, as if your strength could somehow bear the load? Or have you learned to cast them, to release them into the hands of the Lord who stands waiting, open-armed, ready to carry what was never yours to carry? Remember this, Jesus was not sent merely to bear the sins of the world upon the cross, though that he did. He was sent for more. He came to carry not only your sins, but the heavy things you drag with you. 
your sicknesses, your sorrows, your struggles, every burden that binds you. He took them all and nailed them to the cross. Every part of you, every fear, every hidden hurt was crucified with him, nailed down and finished. But still, there is an enemy who whispers in the shadows, Satan, the deceiver, who works tirelessly to make us cling to those burdens we no longer need to carry. He tells us to hold on to the anxiety, to the depression, to the loneliness, as though they are part of who we are. He weaves lies that keep us from resting in the peace that Jesus offers, that peace which is already ours. But you must know, deeply know, that in Christ you are already free, you are already new. The old things, the burdens, the brokenness, they have passed away. You are no longer the person who must hold on to these things. You are a new creation, reborn through his sacrifice, cleansed and made whole. So I pray for each and every one of you that you might let go, let go of the thoughts, the fears, the lies that tell you these burdens are yours to keep. Believe instead in the truth that you are already made new, that in him you are already whole. Rest in this truth. Rest in Jesus. Amen.